Hi, today I'm gonna to do a tutorial of this look, and this is a recreation of the makeup that I did for my wedding day. Some of the products are still available, uh, most of them aren't, so if they're, if they're not, I've kind of used maybe within the same range a newer version, or some of them are just, the brands didn't even exist, so I've had to just kind of swap them out with something else. But you don't need to use these products anyway. It's more about the kind of color scheme that I used and the sort of shape that I created and um, the techniques that I use. So you can use whatever you've got at home. Now, I did have my hair down for my wedding, but I've got it tied back and um, I did actually have a lower top on. However, I think it's quite nice to see the white and I, I crop my videos quite tight. So I've put a high neck white top on just so you can see how the makeup looks again against white. That's actually a really good tip if you ever go for a, 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 make, a bridal makeup test or you're having sort of taking some pictures to see how your makeup will look on the day is to take a piece of white fabric or something just to put up against your face because it's amazing how wearing white totally changes the, the shades and the look of the makeup. So anyway, let's get started. So to prep my skin, I've used the Suzanne Kaufman and this is the Intensive Concentrate. This is like a serum, which you can either use every day or just for special kind of occasions. Um, I've been using it quite a lot recently. It's expensive, but it's I, I love it. Um, and it's all natural, so it's quite a nice thing to have on your skin before you apply makeup. On top of that, I'm going to apply the Bioderma. And this is the sort of oil absorbing primer. And it's a kind of um, a good one if you either are oily all over or if you have combination skin. So for me, I'm, I'd say I'm more combination. So I would use this wherever I've got pores or wherever I know that I'm going to get shiny. So it's really about adapting it to suit your skin type. If you are dry, then you're, obviously you would not need this and you'd need more moisturizer and eye cream and things like that. So it's really about um, your particular skin type. So next I'm going to use also a primer on my eyes. This is Pro Prime. So I'm gonna start with my eyes so it's just easier in case it drops down and I don't need to patch up my concealer and I can just clean up underneath. The actual palette that I used for my wedding was this one um, called Beige Maasai by Dior and they don't make it anymore. I found one shade that was similar to the sort of reddishy brown shade that I use in this new palette, which I'll use that. But actually the other colors that I used are fairly generic anyway, because I use like a dark brown and kind of a golden brown as well as this reddish brown. I kind of chose those colors because that sort of slightly reddish brown against my eyes makes them quite green, quite hazily green, which I thought was nice for a wedding. And I had this kind of all over my eyelid. I'm going to pat a little bit on with fingers as well. Just to think with these gel based eyeshadows, they go on really well with fingers. So that was the kind of base shade that I had. So because I didn't want the whole eye to be this kind of reddish eye, just a little hint of it, I then used a golden brown shade over the top. This color doesn't exist anymore, but I will find some alternatives that I can put underneath. And at the outer edge, I used the darker shade in the middle, which is the dark brown shade. And this is really just to give definition. I'm not a big wearer of a lot of eye makeup in general, um, but on my wedding I wore probably more than I was used to wearing at that time anyway. Just working that into the outer edge there. And that's something that you can, oops, you can um, build up a lot more once the mascara's on in a way. Now I didn't actually use eyeliner for my wedding. What I did use was some powder on a wet um, brush in a kind of really dark chocolatey color. So it's a little bit softer than um, using liner. Quite thin into the inner corner. And then 
I sort of thickened it up as it went along. I've actually um, wet the brush with my peppermint tea that I've got here. Not for any reason, not saying you should do that, just I didn't have any water to hand. And then at the outer edge, I just lined underneath. And then I softened the whole thing. This is with the slightly lighter shade. And then back to the dark. So just building up the intensity at the outer edge without having a definite kind of line between the colours. So I just cleaned up the powder that dropped down and I've put a little bit more serum just underneath. So that's ready for foundation now. The foundation that I used on my wedding, I remember I used a matte foundation because I was my skin was definitely oilier then. It's more combination now, so I wouldn't use a full matte one if I was getting married again. Um, so I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD, which um, is good because it's good for photographs as well. It hasn't got any SPF in it. So I'm just going to put a layer all over. And this is exactly how I did it on my wedding day. So I did my own makeup on my wedding day. I know people asked me that a lot. Did you do your own makeup? I did because I thought it would be really stressful to have somebody else do my makeup. Um, I kind of knew exactly how I wanted to look and I thought I don't want to be a nightmare and like <laughs> kind of making somebody nervous if I don't like what they've done and I just thought well it seems crazy to be a makeup artist and not do my own makeup. So I absolutely did. I did have my assistant at the time come and kind of help. She did my mum and um, she actually helped me with some body makeup because I'd done a really stupid thing, which was a couple of months before I'd had a peel on my back because some of my shoulders were showing in the dress and um, I had a really bad reaction to it and the skin kind of peeled off and I had marks that lasted about 18 months and oh, was looking back it was crazy so she actually had to put the body makeup on my back for me which was very annoying but hey ho I guess we all do silly things so because my wedding was um, kind of in the late afternoon and went into the evening I made sure that my foundation wasn't too light and it wasn't going to be flashy and I sort of checked all of those things beforehand and also I checked that it was going to be one that was going to stay reasonably matte because I knew it was going to be really hot as well because I had quite a lot of people. And my dress is just sitting, I saw it yesterday, it's sitting in a box in the cupboard. It's terrible, isn't it, with wedding dresses? They're kind of such amazing dresses and then you don't wear them again. Sometimes I think about mine and if I could dye it or just change it slightly so I could wear it again and it was a really beautiful Alexander McQueen dress and it was when he was alive so he kind of designed it and oh it was incredible um, but it's slightly warm it wasn't white white it was a slightly creamy white which is also why I did a slightly warmer eye because I thought it, it, it sort of sat well with it and my flowers were mainly very light so kind of white and um, green and so I felt that this eye makeup and this kind of, the colours that I used in my makeup went really well with the sort of theme. So before I'm going to use concealer, I used highlighter and I used Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. And I was really highlightery for my wedding, sort of really fashionable look now, but at the time it was just my thing. I just really loved it. Um, it, was, it was a new product then, a newish product. So and use my foundation brush, what's left on it, and blend. I had it all over the top of my cheekbones, I actually had it on my shoulders, I had it all over. I mean, not like crazy, not to look ridiculous, but I was definitely quite highlighted. And don't worry about um, 
kind of blending it too much because we are going to put some under eye concealer in a minute. I think it's just nice to build up the layers like this though. Put it on the center of my nose. Already this foundation is a lot dewier than what I had on my wedding day. I definitely looked a little bit more um, matte. But this, this is a really nice foundation if you're not super oily. So that looks a bit unblended at the moment, but let's do the concealer. Now I used um, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage when I got married. I mixed the under eye bit with a little bit of something more fluid. I can't remember what it was actually. Um, but under the eyes, I definitely used this one. There weren't that many good concealers available then. Now it's completely different, obviously. There's so much more. Then I was well um, concealed underneath the eyes. So compared to the kind of makeup that I was wearing every day at that time, it was quite a lot more than I was um, than I was wearing. I kind of as a day look, I'd say. It was closer to a sort of, although it looked like a a warm rusty brown smoky eye. Actually in the photographs it looked just sculpted and quite natural. Just gonna push that all into the skin. And I really kind of did lots of thin layers. And then using the same concealer, I if I had any large areas, I remember I just kind of dabbed it around my mouth or anywhere there was um, extra coverage required and I used a pinpoint brush as well for any marks and I remember spending a long time doing that so it was all kind of everything looked nice and flawless and clean. The next thing I did was powder. I kind of pressed a translucent loose powder all over. just to set things, not kind of heavy, but just to make sure it was all locked in. And then buffed it off with a brush, a little bit under my eyes as well. So I definitely had a lot more powder than I was used to on my wedding day, but I knew that with my oily skin, which turns into an oil slick in no time, particularly if I'm like nervous, I um, needed it so I kind of when it first went on it felt oh my god it's too powdery but I knew that it would kind of work its way in and um, because it was like a thin layer it didn't feel cakey or anything or look cakey so the next thing I did was curl my eyelashes and I used lots of waterproof black mascara by Lancome yeah, I definitely went for the um, the waterproof just in case This one's doll eyes, um, but I don't think this, no, this definitely wasn't out when I got married. Mm, this mascara is so good. It's my favorite one. I think if I had this one, I may not have used fake lashes, but on my wedding day, I actually did put a full set of individuals all the way across the top lashes because I want to be really lashy. Um, so I am going to put a few in so you get a similar effect. I'm not probably not going to film it because it's going to be like watching paint dry and I've got another tutorial which shows you exactly how to apply individual fake lashes. So I'm just going to do them and then come back. So I'm just putting some lip balm on so that by the time I get to my lips they're going to be moisturised but not be too slippy. Just let that sink in. So for my eyebrows, I do remember what I used. I remember that I used Lingering Pencil from MAC. And um, I've never really over plucked my brows, even when they were fashionable. So I've always had quite, not huge brows, but quite full brows. And on my wedding day, I just really kind of filled them out a bit more and gave them a bit more um, definition. 
it's funny to be using this. I haven't used this on my eyebrows for ages, a few years actually, because I usually use um, the Suku powder now. But it's quite nice to have a pencil for a change. And this is such a good colour. It works on so many different people. I still use it a lot in my kit. I just gave the arch a little bit more strength, so I brushed the top down and drew in. A little bit more height there. Let me just brush that up. So next I used a very light matte bronzer, but not to kind of bronze, just to sort of shape. I'm going to use Hoola Light today. I can't remember what I actually used. I think it might have been a Guerlain one on the day, but I actually can't remember. And I just sort of very gently kind of shaded my face. Again, it was more for the photography, so my face didn't look flat. So it wasn't a really sculpty look or anything like that, it was just more kind of bringing the makeup together. And then on my cheeks, I used a really fresh pink. I'm going to use this one by Tom Ford. Can't quite remember what I used on the day, but it was a similar color to this. So it was a quite a warm, um, sort of rosy, peachy color. And again, just a very soft, hazy puff of that. Then I used, because I used a matte foundation and powder, I used a little bit more highlighter on top. The one that I used was Laura Mercier and it's discontinued now. So I'm gonna use this one by Kevin O'Quan because it's a similar sort of effect. And I just have that on the top of my cheekbones. And I also put a little dab of it in the corner blended. And by then the glue was dry on my lashes so I went back in and put a little bit more mascara on and then I put a lighter colour just under my brow. It was one from this palette but it's just a generic kind of light. It was matte, I know that I didn't put a shine up there. Kind of didn't want the makeup to date and actually when I look at it now it hasn't really. And now's the time as well if you do want to go back in and blend or add a little bit more shadow or smoke something out a bit more or smudge it, now's a good time. So for lips, I remember vividly the colour that I used and it was a Pixie London, I think it's called Pixie by Petra now, but it was a kind of wheel and it was um, all different sort of quite deep rose pinks and tawny shades and just really good shades. And I remember it was one of the colors from that, but they don't exist anymore. So I found something similar. So I'm gonna start by using the um, this lip pencil by Lancome. And this is a color, a shade that I use on lots of people because it sort of looks good on everyone. Actually, I just need to blot off that um, balm. And I remember I went all over the lips and created a really good stain with this pencil. And then I kind of did a bit of a few corrections. I definitely overdrew my bottom lip, my lower lip. So it was kind of a natural colour, but it was quite a strong natural colour because I just thought in photographs, I tend to look better if I've got a, a proper lip colour on. If I use a very light sort of beigey colour or a, a glossy colour, firstly, I wouldn't have liked the shape of my lips because I like them to be cheated and a bit fuller on the lower lip. And secondly, I just find that, um, I don't know, with my colouring, I just suit a kind of more of a lip colour. So the only one I can find that's sort of close to the one I use is this NARS one. This is a tiny bit darker actually than what I would have had, the one I had. The one I had a, was, a, I'd say it was a little bit more peachy. Hmm. Let me see if I can mix it with a peachier one. 
No, that's too orange. <gasps> so difficult, isn't it? And it had a sort of satin finish. It wasn't extremely matte and it wasn't glossy. It was sort of halfway between. I do remember it stayed on though. I, I touched up after the ceremony and kind of once, maybe once or twice throughout the whole thing and it, it didn't move. So it was something like that, but I think it was actually a little bit fresher. Let me see if I can find a color more similar. Wait a second. Okay, so I think if I go over, ah, there you go. That's better. Just lightened it up a little bit because that other pencil was a bit too reddish. So that's a recreation of the makeup that I did on my wedding day. As I say, it was kind of a five, I think it was a four o'clock in the afternoon wedding. So it went straight into the evening. So um, I wanted to look kind of natural, but very defined, good for photography. And um, yeah, I was very happy with my makeup, funnily enough. Um, and I did it myself. Now, I also did body makeup because I had um, my shoulders, you could see my shoulders. So I used MAC face and body makeup. I had to cover this disaster on my back, um, which I used um, camouflage cream for. I used um, like Derma Blend on. And I used the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl on my kind of the tops of my shoulders and a little bit on my collarbones. And I think that was it. And I didn't really find that I needed to touch up a lot. I did have to powder a little bit more. And um, I touched up my lips, obviously, because you're kissing everyone the whole time. But um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are getting married, hope you have a fantastic time. And I'll see you soon.